Florida's breaking news, a deadly shooting involving a six-year-old child in Tamarack. And Local 10's Terrell Fournay live now from the scene for us with what he's learned so far. Terrell. And this is a very active scene playing out at an apartment complex here just behind me. You can see a number of deputies from the Broward Sheriff's Office here investigating what we have confirmed to be the fatal shooting of a six-year-old child. Let's go to this video from Sky 10 because we know that this call came in at around 3.30 this afternoon. Broward Sheriff's Office arrived to the scene, so did the Tamarack Fire Rescue. Uh, after reports um, of someone calling 911, what is believed to be the parent of that child calling 911, uh, reporting that perhaps this uh, child may have accidentally shot himself. A very ominous scene as the Tamarack Fire Rescue and the uh, first responders who were initially here at the scene initially uh, left, but not making any transports from this scene. Again, we have confirmed that this uh, six-year-old child is now deceased because of the shooting that happened here. Let's now go to this next piece of video from the ground because it has been a very emotional scene as people uh, presumed to be loved ones um, learning the news of what happened apparently inside of an apartment complex here. Just to give you the location, we are on Rock Island Road just north of Commercial Boulevard here in the city of Tamarack. Uh, confirmed to be a fatal shooting of a six-year-old boy. Homicide detectives are here on the scene investigating the circumstances, trying to figure out exactly how all of this happened. Out now, live to these pictures, uh, we know that people who have been arriving home uh, from work and, you know, perhaps from school, they have been unable to get inside of this apartment complex because it is literally sealed off by homicide detectives. At this point, no one in, no one out. So on Rock Island Road, there is a long stretch of vehicles just waiting to get inside. But this is an active homicide investigation right now. Uh, we expect to learn more information as the day continues. That is the latest live from Tamarack. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News. That is so hard.